How do I tell him that I'm the man? I got her this power, yes I do, I got it right here in my hand. You do not know, you don't understand. What I had to do just to be in these shoes, it was part of the plan, but they don't understand me. So how do I tell him? How do I tell him? How do I tell him? Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Bo Meezy back with another reaction. How you doing? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna switch it up a little bit, so get some comedy in there. I didn't know who or no, what to like react to. I just knew I wanted to see some comedy because that's just how I'm feeling right now. Just want to enjoy, just sit back and enjoy something. Um, so this I seen uh, 18 minutes of the best nostalgic comedy stand-up featuring Cat Williams, Richard Pryor, and more. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. 18 minutes, kind of long, but hey, we're just gonna sit back and chill. I just I just smoked one, so I'm I'm chilling. I'm feeling good right now. Um, but yeah, if you don't know who I am, I'm a rapper, singer, songwriter, make music. Link down below for my Spotify, Apple Music, all that good stuff. Or my playlist section right here on my channel. Sorry, I gotta get this going so I can get Bob in there. Can't disrespect Bob. Yeah, I see Bob. There you are, Bob. Hey, all right, bet. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna sit back and check this one out. Um, uh, I know who Richard Pryor is, but I don't, I don't think I've ever actually watched any of his stand-up. Uh, but Cat Williams, obviously, he's one of the goats. So we're just gonna get into this. So, yeah, all you guys who's up there, you up. Let's go. You gotta get your motherfucking hustle. Understand niggas is gonna hate you regardless. Get that out of your yeah. head, that fantasy world where niggas Regardless. ain't hating on you. You gotta be grateful. You need haters. What the fuck is you complaining about? What the fuck do you think a hater's job is? To fucking hate. Uh, hey. So let them motherfuckers do their goddamn job. What the fuck is you complaining about? Ladies, if you got 14 women hating on you, you need to figure out how the fuck to get to 16 before the summer get here. <laughs> the fuck is you mad about? Before the summer get here. Fellas, if you got 20 haters, you need 40 of them motherfuckers. What is you yeah, complaining 40. about? If there's any haters in here right now that don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me. <laughs> Sit back there and say my hair ain't luxurious when you know it is, bitch. <laughs> well, you know it is, bitch. <laughs> dip set, dip set. You know it is, bitch. I remember I'm those big ass That's big all I'm saying. I advise you to do the to same. Make our do shit that hang. make you happy. Go out and get you some white friends. Get you some white motherfucking friends. You ain't gotta sleep with them, but you gonna need them motherfuckers. If you go to jail and call your nigga friends, these motherfuckers will interrogate you more than the goddamn police. <laughs> <laughs> they had your ass on the phone. Where the fuck was you at? What the fuck was you doing? Why the fuck you ain't called me? Not your white friends. Them motherfuckers will be there by the time you hang up the phone and they'll be madder than you. Just what the fuck did he do? <laughs> murder, murdered who? Look, I fucking known him for two weeks. He wouldn't fucking do something like that. Gotta love white people. I don't give a fuck what you say. White people are friendly. You can call them motherfuckers up <laughs> no, at three o'clock in the morning with the wrong yeah. number and they won't even be mad at you. Mm. They just, hello? Oh, man. No, I'm sorry. No Shaquita here. <laughs> Well, what number Shaquita. did you dial? No, it's a nine, not a seven. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, call me back. We'll figure this thing out. <laughs> if it doesn't work, call me back. You stupid. Let me say this. Y'all need some nigga friends. Get you some nigga friends. Just don't ever, ever call them your nigga friends. Don't ever. Look. That'll fuck the relationship up. There's my nigger friend. <laughs> you guys say it all the time. What? White people, you need your nigga friends. Look, I'm sorry, but you don't really realize how small somebody is on camera because, you know, it's, it's TV, the, the uh, angle can make anybody look big. But when you really look at him and then look at that stool next to him, you can kind of see just how small. <laughs> Sorry. So they can Sorry. tell you when shit is not appropriate. First of all, white people, please stop putting them little blue leashes on your children. Please stop doing that. That is only entertainment for Facts. niggas. That's all that is. We be excited that the motherfuckers look at us. <laughs> Those leashes are just an excuse for bad parenting. Or they're a cover up for bad parenting. Well, I do it because I don't want them to run away. All right, why is your kid running away? Do they not listen to you? That's why white kids grow up and kill everybody in the goddamn school because you done treated them like a German shepherd ever Yo. since they were three. Yeah. They be in the store like, oh, I want No. Yo. This is 
yo. And niggas gorilla, they way in the place, man. We saw about eight dead white people when we was coming in, still had tickets in their hands. <laughs> niggas had just run over them getting in there. <laughs> Move out the way, motherfucker, shit. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't seen a nigga in three years. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> Why is shark? Go ahead, shark, cut in. Shark, cut in. Well, what do you want, trouble? There's a whole bunch of them. They could be cousins or anything. Or anything. Some white dudes you cut in front of don't play that shit, though, right? You cut in front of them. All right, cut the shit. Yeah. Cut the shit. Just cut the fucking crap. All of them. <laughs> I love when white dudes get mad and cuss, right? Because you all some funny motherfuckers when you cuss. Right? They be saying shit like, yeah, come on, peckerhead. <laughs> come on, you fucking jerk off. Come on. Yeah. Son of a bitch, come on. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, buddy. <laughs> hey, niggas be talking about buddy this. <laughs> yeah. You want the buddy something, buddy up on his hand. <laughs> Black men will grab them dicks, Jack. <laughs> Niggas be walking down the street, they gonna hold their dick. Jack. <laughs> What's happening, bro? Ain't nothing to it. Shit. Ain't nothing to it. So you know how it is. I'm just hanging on. <laughs> right, even Andrew Young, he grabbed his dick. <laughs> right, he be talking to the president of the United States. Right? Andrew Young, man. Uh, Mr. President. <laughs> no, we got to talk some serious shit. No, really. Excuse me, Mrs. Carter. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Bigger than a peanut. Every now and then I take a joke too far and get in trouble. That's why I haven't been on the road the last three years. Because I did a lot of... Did y'all see Andy Delirious? Murphy. In Delirious, I was making fun out of a lot of entertainers. Too. That's why oh. I got scary. Because I did some jokes about Mr. T. And Mr. T yeah. was going to fuck it up. He was, I was scared, cause y'all see Mr. T, he don't look like, you know, like he can't fight. He looks like he can whip some ass, right? And I was petrified. I was walking parties and people say, yo man, Mr. T was just here looking for you. Yeah. He was walking up, people saying, I'm gonna whip it in the when I see him. <laughs> then I watched the show, cause I, ne I didn't know him. I watched the show to see what kind of guy he was and the character on the show ain't too bright. So I figured if he came up to me, I could use the Jedi mind trick on him. Yeah. He walk up and go, I heard you did some jokes about me. No, you didn't. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to go beat up the fool that told me them lies. Oh, man. <laughs> I was scared. I'd be at parties here. He was looking for me. I would just leave because I don't want to fight Mr. T. Then I found out Michael Jackson was looking for me. And I was like, yo, when Mike, I found my manager called me up and said, yo, man, Michael Jackson is mad. I was like, so? <laughs> so? <laughs> You know, cause I fuck Mike up, you know, Mike. Yeah. Mike don't weigh but a buck oh five, you know. I bust that ass on Mike. I, I was looking for my, but my manager said, you know, we don't know everything about Michael Jackson. He might be this bad motherfucker behind closed doors. He's a recluse, you know, behind closed doors. He might be completely different. And I'd be at a party and have Michael walk up to me one day and be like this. Can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> yeah, uh, what's your motherfucking problem, man? Well, how come you keep fucking with me then, huh? What's all the motherfucking jokes? You don't like my clothes? No, what, no, what's your motherfucking problem? You know that I'm Michael motherfucking Jackson? I will bust your ass! Get the fuck out of my motherfucking... I'll moonwalk all up and down your ass, motherfucker. You mind your motherfucking business. I hear some more shit, I'm gonna put this glove up your ass. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dumb, I can never, I've been trying for five months to do the moonwalk and I can't do the shit. Can't do it's it. shit. It's the dumbest dance ever because I can't do it. That's why I say it's stupid. But a... How can you do the moonwalk and ask a woman to dance and shit? Be at the party say, hey baby, come on, let's dance. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Some stupid shit.
Michael can do that shit, though. Michael's so famous. Michael went on television, and, and everything he says, the public believes. Went on television and said, I don't have sex because of my religious beliefs, and the public believed it. I don't know, brothers were like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and white people were going, that Michael's a special kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's special. I mean, it's good, clean, and wholesome. Y'all believe it. You know how I knew y'all believed it? Y'all didn't get mad when he took Brooke Shields to Grammys. Nobody white said shit. And Brooke Shields is the whitest woman in America. That's yeah. Miss America every year. I do, is Brooke I do not know who that is. Brooke, you look at white woman in the dictionary, be a picture of Brooke like this. She's no, white. I gotta see her. And if nigga is. took her to Grammys, nobody said shit. If I took Brooke Shields to Grammys, y'all lose your mind. Cause y'all know Brooke would get fucked that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way. Yeah. And Brooke knew too. Oh, I, I do know Fox Brooke. Shit. Oh, I and never knew that was hilarious. her name. I watch the Fox News. That's my show now. I watch the Fox <laughs> News be laughing up a star. Cause they be having some dumb ass people on there. <laughs> One lady got on there. Yeah, I got a question for the president. Of the United States. <laughs> what are you gonna do about the oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico, President Obama? <laughs> you know, Obama be all proper and all nice, and like a diplomatic person. Yeah. Well, we're trying several solutions. We're talking to BP. We're working out some way to close the hole. We're gonna get it closed. It's gonna take us a time, but we're gonna get it closed. I wish he would just yeah. let that in the nigga out one goddamn time. Excuse me, white folks. I ain't mean to put that on that. For real, he just let you let that shit out one goddamn time. Just let it flow. You know, that's No, you say that now. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> yeah, I got a question for the president. <laughs> what are you going to do about the oil leak in the Gulf of Mexico, President Obama? Obama. <laughs> well, bitch. What am I going to do, bitch? What I'm gonna do, bitch? I'm gonna put on my super nigga cape, huh? I'm gonna put on my super nigga boots. And then I'm gonna fly all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico on my super nigga powers, bitch. Yeah, cause you think I got super nigga powers. That's what you think, bitch. And then I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the ocean where no nigga or no man has ever been before, bitch. And I'm gonna get down and I'm gonna close that hole, bitch. I'm gonna close it. And then I'm gonna fly straight back out. And I'ma shit out some jobs. <laughs> oh. Three million jobs. Yeah, that's what I'ma do. Any Trump more goddamn six questions? Million. We got all these different colors. We got black, white, we got Spanish, we got Asian, we got all these people here. And how are you gonna have racism in a country that don't belong to nobody? Except the Indians. Yeah. How are you going to have racism? And nobody belong here. You got people going, go home. You go home too. Facts. You ain't from here, go home. Facts. You must have forgot. You must have oh, forgot. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I never understood the discovery of America. How you discover something with a bunch of people already there? That's like somebody come to my car. I discovered your stereo. <laughs> you wasn't here. I didn't think you knew about it. I think if the Indians could do it all over again with what they know now, if they mm. could turn back the hands of time, I think they'd be standing on the edge. Here come the boat. Don't let them get off the boat. Give them some corn right, and some flour. flour. Happy Thanksgiving. See you next year. Right. Even the deer. Man, we used to run around. Uh, now they shooting at us. I didn't know what that was the first time I saw it. I was like, what's that? Okay. <laughs> See, I've never understand. We have any hunters. Speaking here? facts. Anybody hunt? Now I don't understand the mentality of a hunter. What do you hunt? 
elk, a dangerous animal. <laughs> Lord knows we need to kill them animals. They're out there trying to get us. If you're going to hunt, you ought to hunt something that can kick your butt. I'm talking about like a bear with a bow and arrow. Make it a game. If you miss, <laughs> we ain't going to see you again. Yeah. That's the way I think you should hunt. Make it a big sport. Little old rabbit running around. Shh. The rabbit's like. And the hunter, I'm gonna get him, what I'm gonna get him. And the deer, man, the deer be like this. Oh, Lord, I'm trying to drink some water. They coming up. A bear be like this. Go ahead, shoot. Go ahead, shoot. <laughs> My turn. Go ahead, start running, go ahead. Bring out a bear or two, go on. No, we spend a lot of time in America yeah. trying to be something that we're not. We don't even know where we are sometime in America. I didn't even know Sinbad was a comedian. Now, I know nothing about this. Let's take, for example, thing. Tiger Woods. No, I'm with Tiger Woods. <laughs> his mother is Asian and his dad is black. Black people got mad at him for claiming his mother. He was sitting there on Oprah with his mama. I'm Asian and black. No, you ain't. <laughs> no, no, you ain't. ain't. You black. <laughs> you black. <laughs> Be black, please. Be black, please. Please be black. He dark. That's all we need. He's dark. A dark please man won the golf. That's good enough for me. Close enough. Close enough. I'm okay with it. If you'd have been a dark white person, I'd have claimed it. Get on. <laughs> You know what I like about Tiger Woods? Tiger, Tiger don't, he don't just play golf. Tiger's like the Michael Jordan of golf. Tiger is the Michael Jordan of golf. Did you watch, did you watch the Masters? They, they're going to change the course. Oh, they're outside. They had a meeting. Wait, man, they just... Look at him, he's out there hitting the ball and all over the water. And we got to change this course. He, he, He's only 12 years old. He's only 12. As long as he play golf, you're going to see from show. I'm number two. I'm number two. Because he ain't going to lose nobody. He beat people so bad. They, did you see the interviews? Well, how, how good is Tiger? Oh, he's not here. He can't even say nothing. No, he's, the, way, the way his waist is built, the reason he can play golf. <laughs> Yeah. It's because he has small hips. His hips swivel. Who'd have thought a black man would change the face of golf? Now Nike gonna make money. When uh, Michael retired, they got a new Michael. I see young black kids, white kids running around with golf clothes. You ain't never seen that. I, I, I'm like, this is sad. <laughs> Little black children in the hood with cleats. Click clack, click clack, click clack, click clack. Hey, yo. Click, clack. White people have fun, though. We be thinking white people can't dance. White people be too fucked up to dance. That's how niggas used to do. Remember, we used to go to the club and have fun and shit. Mm. Niggas used to go and have fun. We can't have fun. Now niggas just in the club watching other niggas and shit. Just waiting on some shit <laughs> to it. pop off. Get Sit real high wall. and go to the club next time. Because that fuck it in your system will help they you do out. Get just high. go to the That's club and make up your dance. own motherfucking dance. And see how much fun your goddamn ass have while motherfuckers <laughs> watching you. Yeah! Get him. Get him. Yeah, hey, like when I saw him, come on, just walk in the club, get real high, hey, walk in, get and make up your own dance. Do it. Get him, cat. Hey, better get him, better show him how he move. I ain't do it, better show him. Yeah, hold up, come and show him to a fit in you, cause I'm about to kick it off. I'm about to kick it like a kick against Sunday night. Yeah, we up, I'm about to, uh, yeah. Hey. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh, 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 hey. uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 <laughs> Can I 
I do it one time for the folk? One time for the folk. Can I get a yeah? There will never be a hype man like Little John. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Yeah, definitely. Hilarious. I guess by and more, they just meant that one other dude that I don't know his name. So that's funny. But uh, yeah, who is your favorite comedian? I want you to let me know down below who is your favorite comedian. And whatever comedian gets the most people that like him, I'm going to start reacting to them next or more or whatever the fuck so who's your favorite comedian down below thank you guys for being here with me i'll see you guys in the comments peace